Rock City, Nevada, on a dry lake bed, or a playa, a performance and art festival is held in the desert. It's called Burning Man. For this week, five and a half square miles will be home to over 50,000 people. A month after they leave, there will be no trace of the temporary city until the following year. However, some people will be remembering Burning Man for weeks after they leave the playa, and not just because of the sensational memories, these people will be the people that are afflicted by playa lung, the more common name for a disease called eosinophilic pneumonia. The dry playa is made up of a fine dust that's 42% gypsum. Gypsum particles are so fine that there's an ever-present dust and the slightest wind will kick up a storm that everyone will then breathe into their lungs. For seven days and seven nights, gypsum is drawn into the lungs where it will meet a mo moist environment that essentially turns it to mud. Eosinophils are white blood cells. They're a product of the immune system, sent in response to combat foreign particles. Due to the excess of gypsum dust, eosinophils are sent to the lungs where they collect in the alveoli. This is an obstructive disease as the eosinophils occupy the airspace where gas exchange would normally occur. There is also fluid retention behind the point of obstruction, and the result is reduced gas exchange. Oxygen levels in the blood are dramatically reduced, and respiratory failure can result if not treated. Playa lung is recognized by a cough that does not resolve once off the playa. Symptoms were further developed into chills, fever, night sweats, and an increasing breathlessness. It may feel as if your lungs were lined with mud, but actually they're blocked by your own body's attempts to eliminate a foreign substance. Luckily, treatment with systemic and inhaled steroids proves to be effective, and most acute cases resolve easily. So what should you do out on the playa? Many people bring their own masks, ranging from a simple bandana to N95 respirators. If you have additional respiratory issues, such as asthma, use of inhaled steroids before the trip and bronchodilators while on the playa can reduce your chances of developing playa love. Additionally, the use of nasal and sinus washes and good hydration will keep your airway and lungs happy so that you can enjoy your time on the playa and your return.